Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, the Silver Run Forest map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to finish filling up our second 9-meter container. Um, so we're about uh, a little over halfway there. Here uh, is the sale from the first 9-meter container. I was also uh, working on setting up an auto drive uh, drop off point too. Um, so, yeah, $75,000 for a nine meter container is good because um, that's about equivalent to $50,000 for a six meter container. So, and, and the thing I like about the nine meter containers is it's one container. And, you know, most of, most of my, my trees I can get, you know, two nine meter lengths out of and even three from the really big ones. So it's a little bit better than trying to work with the 12 meter, I think. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of liking the 9 meter. And it just, at least the based upon that first one anyways, it appears to give us the same, about the same amount of money as the 6 meters do. Uh, okay, let's see, where are we at here? I have, I'll show you a couple things here. Here, let's actually get, well, no, let's look at it from the ground. Uh, so I, I went along, uh, these are some extra 6 meters left over from my 9 meter pile. This is all junk wood up here for for uh, mulching. Uh, but what I did was I went along with my wonderful forestry mulcher and I basically uh, scraped the road, I guess, for lack of a better way of putting it, uh, right all the way at the border. So that way, when I'm planting later on and when we're logging this property in the future, we'll know exactly where the border is. Um, so yeah, basically that's the border right there. So, and, and the cool thing about this forestry mulcher again, too, is I, I didn't have to tear up the ground, but you know, there's enough of a difference there to where it's here. Let's get into the construction menu. Uh, that it's pretty obvious, you know, where the line is. And so I did the same thing over here too, all the way to the corner of my property and then out to the road. So, uh, the next order of business now is to start logging this side of the property over here. We got some pretty decent timber uh, on this side too. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. There's, what did I do? I, I don't like the grapple on this. It's, uh, it's really glitchy. Hopefully that's something the giants will fix. But basically what was happening is I was using it. And after I would grab a clump of logs, then the, then the thing wouldn't close properly. Um, and it happened consistently, so I, I gave up on it and went back to using the front loader. This harvester head, I absolutely love it. It is so nice to use. Because it's mu much bigger, it's a lot easier to line up on the trees. And, uh, yeah, just in really enjoying that. Uh, okay, let's see. What else did I do? I, I, per I went down to the store and purchased this larger winch um, and so it has really two two purposes uh, we use it as a winch and it's a very strong winch it can, it'll pull like a, lo a lot of weight um, but also but it's also a um, a blade for pushing logs um, so I've been you know kind of interchanging that with the um, uh, the forestry mulcher what I really should do though is have probably put this on the back of the tractor forest room mulcher on the front um, because, you know, I, we, we're only going to use the, the yarder, well, not as often, I guess I should say. In fact, having the yarder on this tractor in the long term is not a good idea anyways because I need to use this tractor to clear stumps and cut rows and that sort of thing. Uh, but we're going to be using the larger, the bigger yarder anyways, um, not, not too long from now. Okay, I also paid off my bank loan, uh, so we're once again out of debt with the bank, which is always a good thing. And we're sitting at $46,106. It is five, a little after 5 o'clock on September 1st. So what I would like to do is do one more trailer load here. And then when we're finished with that, we will probably call it quits for the day, sleep uh, through the night. And then in the morning, we want, I want to go check the, uh, the iron mine. Um, and... I brought, I think I told you guys this, but I bought a larger bucket here for the front loader 
that we'll try out. Okay, so I think that gets us caught up on everything. Now, truth be told, it would probably be more efficient for me to just move the whole operation over to this side of the property. But I think I'm going to at least, at least for a little while anyways, uh, I'm going to, I want to use the yarder because it's just really fun to use. So even if it's, that's not the most efficient thing to do, we're going to do it anyways, because it's fun and fun is fun and fun is important. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So let's get the yarder set up and then uh, we're going to take the big Volvo over there and start cutting trees. So I'm thinking the yarder will probably be fine here f for almost everything across the way there. So what, what, what I think we'll do is I think we'll start with the trees more down that way and then move to the ones across the pond later. Uh, and I can always, you know, I can always move the yarder further up the road too when that time comes. Let's start the tractor here. And let's select the yarder and get it unfolded. All right. And then what we want to do is grab the cable, please. Oh, yeah, we got to lower it. There we go. Okay, so let's grab the cable. And we're just going to go, hopefully we can get all the way to the edge of our property coming through here. Um... We might need to move that bucket in the, the mulcher out of the way, too. But we'll come all the way across the creek here. And is this my scrape? Uh, where's my scrape at? Okay, I think I've gone too far. I, I can't see the scrape. Let's go back this way. The scrape is, comes out to somewhere around here. I, You know what? Maybe that's it right there. It's a little bit harder to see from the ground, isn't it? I think this is the scrape right here. That doesn't make sense, though, because all those plants are still there. Hmm. Maybe it's a little further up than I'm giving it credit for. If I get up into construction mode, I'm going to lose the, the rope. You'd think we'd be able to see it, though. All right, let's go over this way. Yeah, maybe it is further over than I'm thinking. Oh yeah, it's a lot further over. Okay, so this this corner tree here is the very corner of our, our property. So the scrape goes this way. Yeah, it is it is kind of hard to see on the ground, isn't it? Oh well, it's very easy to see through here. And it hits the road there. So it's okay. Yeah, so it was actually further down than I was than I thought. Alright, so what I want to do is can we hook up to this tree? It says something blocks the way to this tree. Uh, well, not if we get it up that high. Okay, yeah, let's get it up that high. And this will allow us to get everything close to the road, and then we just, you know, slide it over as we go along. Very good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come through here with the harvester, and we're going to just start cutting trees. And we're going to cut them into 9-meter lengths. So they'll be cut and delimbed. And all we have to do is just yard them over here and then load them up. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, this uh, this har new harvester is amazing. I'm liking it. One thing, there is one glitchy thing with it, though. The little auto-alignment thing worked... The very first time I tried it, and then after that I can't get it to work again. <laughs> I don't know why. 
It's really weird. I did restart the game, though, since then, so maybe it'll work again. This tree here is our first victim, so we'll just see what happens. So it, oh, it'll open it, but it won't move it down, so I don't know why. It's really weird. Bring it down a little more, and here we go. That's a nice big tree, and the best thing about it is we can harvest it with this harvester. We don't have to use a chainsaw. All right, now let's make sure we're on nine meter lengths, which we are. Start processing the tree. Nice big spruce. Yeah, we can get three nine meter lengths out of the big spruces. Now this guy is, is there at least six meters left in this? There is, there's seven and a half. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this one is we're going to uh, set it back to six meters and that one can be added to the six meter pile. Fantastic, okay. Let's get back to nine meters. Whip this guy around. And we're going to stay uh, kind of over more this way uh, so we're close to the cable. I'm not going to mess with those little guys. I'll, I'm, I'll probably get them with the mulcher later. Um, the other thing, too, is... Yeah. All of... Well, you know what I'm going to actually use this for? To mark the dead trees, because... When you're in the when you're in the machine, it's it's kind of hard to tell which one's dead or not because these lodge poles look like they're dead down at the bottom. So if we just mark that, um, then I can just tell right away that it's a dead tree, and I don't have to get out and look up to see if there's foliage on it. All right, there's another one over here. These symbols actually mean something, but I've heard that they're not consistent. You know, what they might mean in one place, not necessarily what they mean in another place. So we're just going to use X to mean dead tree. Okay, I don't see any more. Up here. Okay, here's one up here. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not dead. That's a lodgepole. And here is our property line. Okay, that's good enough for now because, well, here. Might as well grab this one. Because we're not really working over on this side right at the moment anyway. Oh, that one's not dead. Okay. All right, how the heck do I change the the mode? All right, let's go into the menu for Silver Run or, uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever this is, Platinum Expansion. Okay. Change marker. Is that? What we're looking for, probably the comma. Yep, that's it. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is put that there, which means cut there, and it removes that one. So I don't, I know that that, that was a mistake. Not, not that I wouldn't be able to figure that out, but you know. Uh, okay, cool. You know, I'm starting to see now that the spray paint is quite useful for something like this. At first I thought it was just kind of a funzy, funzy thing, but I, I now actually see the value in it. Okay, so that's dead. Here's a dead one over here. Oh, no, that one's past our line, though, so we don't have to worry about that. 
There's fortunately there's not a lot of dead trees on this side, so this little group of trees right here we'll be able to get. Alright, I think that's probably it for the dead trees. Oh, I never picked this guy up. Um, we'll have to get him later. Did we not mark this one? We didn't. It is dead, right? And this one, too. Okay, that's good. That's good to go. Should have shut this off so it wasn't wasting gas. It's not working for some reason. The auto align thing. Alright, I can't tell what's going on here. Oh, you're too far over that way. down and then cut. Okay. Alright, let's slide this over and lift it up a little bit too. Oh, it hit the dogwood tree. I think we can get another 9 meter out of this. Yep. And then this other one's just junk. Just get this tree out of here because it's being a pain in the butt. Come on, give me the thing. This chainsaw is really inconsistent. What I was looking for is the red marker, which allows me to just delete it. Oh, there we go. That didn't do anything. Oh, I guess I got rid of the stump. Okay. Yeah, I guess we have to cut it in half first. Let's do this one too, because otherwise it might give us grief. It's a little close to our good logs. Can I? I first should be able to move this by hand. Yeah, I can. Okay, let's pull it away. Get it out of the brush so we can see what we're doing here. There we go. And then. Yeah, I'll get that with the forestry mulcher. I don't want to risk cutting those logs. Okay. Let's continue on here. Easily get three nine meter lengths out of this guy. And probably a six.
Yeah, love those big, ginormous lodgepole pines. Um, let's do one more tree at nine meters, and that'll probably fill us up. Uh, we'll go after this guy here. Now uh, we had a little, little tiny piece there. Cut it out. All right, here. I'm gonna back up because it's bound up there. to nine meters. And that's just junk. Okay, let's stop there with the cutting. bring this up and we want to call the carriage to us here it comes now we you know this is capable of pulling multiple logs it's really kind of more of can the weight handle it or not so let's um See if it can take both of those. Maybe even all three of these. That might be a bit much. Yeah. Okay. Good. At least it tells us it's too heavy. Okay. And we'll send it back. Whoa. I'd imagine you have to really be. Well, I mean, logging is one of the most dangerous professions there is, anyways. But in real life, you'd rather have to watch for that. Imagine getting thumped by one of these logs. That would not be good. Okay, it's back, so detach trees and then call it back. This is really cool. I, I would have to, okay, so I would have to say, unless you're working, cutting and working almost in exactly the same area, this, is, this has got to be faster, especially since you can do multiple logs at the same time. Okay, so let's grab this big boy here. And can we also grab the little one? Got to get it a little closer here. It's not giving me the option to do that. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, it's, it's probably just because it's at its weight limit. That That's my guess. All right, let's send it back. And we'll just watch it go back. If anybody watching these videos is a logger in real life and has used these before, uh, let me know in the comments. And let me know how it's actually done. My guess is you probably have some kind of a handheld uh, V device with a readout on it. It's all wireless. And, you know, you have something maybe similar to this little graphic that we have showing where, what's going on when you can't visibly see it. Or maybe this is completely unrealistic. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. I suppose the earlier versions of these, you had a guy on both ends communicating over, you know, walkie-talkies or something. All right, let's attach that. And back it up a little bit. A little more here. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Probably can't get this one. I'm guessing. 
bring it back just a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Nope, let's just send it back then. Oh, okay, we just got killed. <laughs> that log just smashed our head. Oh, that's hilarious. I'll be curious to see how neatly it piled things up on that end. Probably not very neat at all. But that's not what it's designed to do, though, either, so... Okay. Drop off the log. Come on back. And we've got quite a few more over here in the brush to do. You know what I might do after... Let, let's run and grab the tractor after we send the next batch back and push these logs out of the brush so we can see them better and closer to the cable for that matter. Okay, there's a three. Can we do this one too? No, nope, too heavy. That's what I figured. Okay. Oh, yeah. So let's go get the tractor. We're going to push. Oh, you know what? Um... It would almost be good to have some kind of a back stop or something here. All right, go back to where you were. Uh, we're going to have to use this tractor, obviously. Um, we could also use the skid steer. Yeah, actually, let's use this. You can do it. Come on, man. You can do it. Well, you know what? That's good enough because we can, we can see them now. We can see them now. Can we get this other little one? Yep. Very good. Okay. Look out. Okay, so we still have three more looks to go. Drop logs, come back. Now that I see this in action and see how effective it is, I think we're going to return the little one and get the big one. think we're going to be able to get both of these. Nope. Okay. Pretty good sized logs, man. Okay, we got another big one and another big one. <laughs> okay, drop off, come back. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get these other two logs over there, and then we'll head over there, jump in the front loader, and get them loaded up. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay. We are back here. Um, that's going to be close. We might need another tree, but let's try it and see what happens here. Oh, that's funny. It thinks this is a field. Well, it is actually because of the the forestry harvester. Okay, so we need to press V to disconnect that from there. And let's get in the front loader. And get these logs loaded. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that the grapple's all screwed up, but it was not working very well. I 
Okay. Let's see if we can grab all this little group right here. We got it. Nice. Okay. Wasn't quite sure if we were, but we do. And we have another nine footer over here too. So let's just, or nine meter. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll leave these here, but maybe push them back a little bit. Okay, let's take this down to the shop. I'm expecting around 75 grand for it. If it uh, works out the same as the other one did, anyway. Very nice. All right, I'll see you guys down at the store. Okay, let's see what we get. 73.6. A little bit less than last time, but still right in the ballpark. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get a new container loaded up and get back up to the property, get things staged. Then we're going to sleep, and I'll bring you back in the morning, and we're going to go check out the iron mine and see uh, where things are with that. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning, everybody. We are going to unattach from this trailer here. Um, unattach from this trailer here. There you go. And hook up to our other trailer because we got to take the front loader back up to the mine. And we're going to try that new bucket out too. I hope that it's um that it'll work. My concern is that it might be a little bit too heavy, but we shall see. There's nothing uh, in the sales that we're interested in. Every, everything that is in the sales is farming stuff, not logging. I already checked that. It's back up here. Whoop, wrong way. Yeah, I screwed that one up, didn't I? get the ramps out I don't think I don't think we need to make the trailer wide for the front loader I'm not sure about that though actually I guess we're gonna find out aren't we I need to check the fuel level in the front loader too oh it's fine yeah it's really good actually Supposed to be a cloudy day, but at least it's not going to rain like it did yesterday. We'll eventually be getting um, another front loader, and when that happens, we will leave probably this one um, back at the mine permanently. I'll tell you what though, man, this has been a really good little machine. Worked out quite well so far. OK, 
Okay. All right, let's head on over to the mine. I'm going to let auto drive do the work. So, yeah, let's enjoy the ride here. Got a nice little pile of iron waiting for us. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and see how many pallets we have of, of metal. So right now it's storing it. So I think what we need to do is we need to tell it to spawn to actually see the metal. Should, there it goes. Oh, that's all we got? Just two pallets so far, huh? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, rolled metal. Look at that. Nice. 1.3 tons. 
It says there's a thousand pieces, but it looks to me like it's just rolled sheet metal. Okay. Well, keep in mind, as far as the game goes, only one day has gone by. I mean, there's been several episodes since we were last up here, but only one day has actually gone by, so... Um, I'm, what I'm going to do then is, of course, wait and uh, wait till we get more of these until we have a decent load. And I'll even probably, I mean, we're doing fine making money off of logging. So I'm probably going to take the first batch of these down to the to the roller coaster. Uh, the, mayor, the mayor is probably going to want wanting to know why I'm not helping any ice with that. We'll get to it for sure. Um because, you know, once we get the roller coaster taken care of, then the rest of this is just gravy money. So, all right, cool. Let's get the front loader off here with the larger bucket. And hopefully uh, we can handle the, uh, you know, the, the increased load. Because it's going to be a lot heavier, obviously, right? So we'll undo the straps here. Actually, I'm just going to do undo them from here because I'm not sure I know where each one of them is. Wrong mode. Okay, we're just going to barrel off the end here. I forgot to put the ramps down, so... Okay, let's hope this works. Because if it does, then we'll be able to load this three times as fast. If it doesn't, then, well, it doesn't. <laughs> kind of afraid of that <laughs> all right we are gonna need a larger front loader ladies and gentlemen but this is not gonna work no siree Bob you gonna let me pour it out Yeah, this is a little bit of a sticky wicket, isn't it? <laughs> okay, um, then let's... Oh, let's just drive this straight. Oh, you know what, though? I don't think it'll let us load this from the bucket. I think we have to... I think it has to be tipped. All right, well, this is a, a job for super strength, then. This bucket will work when we get a, a larger front loader, right? But with this front loader, not so much. Any chance we can get it to dump in here? Oh. I just got to tilt it the right way here. This is funny. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Alright, that might be enough for us to be able to tip the rest of it normally. Barely. It's still almost tipping over. Alright, why aren't you... Why aren't you tipping out? It's like it doesn't go down far enough. Silly thing. Did we get it all? Yes, we did. All right, well, that answers that question. <laughs> Until we get a, a larger front loader, uh, we're just going to have to stick with that little dinky bucket and make a whole bunch of loads. That's fine, though. Uh, we will be getting a big front loader here pretty soon. All 
It's still too bad we can't put a weight on the back of this. We should be able to. Oh, you know what? I... I thought I heard somewhere that we could actually use a conveyor to load the a trailer with this stuff. That's that would be worth trying. Let's tentatively plan on on doing that for the next time we come up here. So that'd be the way to go. At least until we can get a, a larger bucket, because this just takes a long time, man. Okay. That fills up the dump truck. All right, guys. Well, I think um, that is going to do it for this episode. So I'm going to get the all the uh, iron. Oh, we got a third pallet. Nice. Uh, all the iron loaded up. I, I believe we have enough iron here to completely fill the factory. Then I'm going to go back and keep logging our property. Uh, I'm liking the 9-meter trailer, so I think we're going to stick with those for now. So I'm probably just going to log for a bit off camera and, you know, build up the money. And then I will bring you guys back when the time is right for the next episode. And we'll do the next thing. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.